What are we even doing here? It's a King Oscar day, and I wanted to get to the bottom of sort of the King Oscar mystery that I've always had on my mind. People always recommend the Tiny Tots. They're like, oh, Tiny Tots are my favorite King Oscar. And um, on the face of it, they seem so similar to just the regular King Oscars in extra virgin olive oil. I mean, you just look at the packaging and the similarities are all there. You've got 12 to 22 fish. You've got sort of the same kind of banner. Look on the back, you have all the same nutrition information. Like, look, okay, three grams of fat, three grams of fat, 350 milligrams of sodium, la la la. Same blurb here, ingredients, slightly smoked bristlings, extra virgin olive oil, salt, ditto, packed in Poland, packed in Poland. Is this the same product? Is this Tiny Tots wrapping? Is this just some kind of like kid-friendly marketing that they're trying, you know? I don't know, but, but who knows? Maybe they are a slightly different product. So that's what I'm gonna find out today. I'm gonna unwrap these and uh, try them out and um, just see if there's any discrepancies between the two. Brrr. Sorry to butt in, guys. I just want to remind you there's a live stream happening this Saturday, 2 p.m., September 11th, 2021. I'm going to open up Slow Jabroni's box of fun sardines that Saturday, 2 p.m. Eastern, September 11th, 2021. Oh my God. Be there, be square. I'm sorry if you missed it. That's just uh, how it goes sometimes. Bye. I'm not going to like go crazy or go one by one. We're just going to. Get them, get them both out the wrappers here. Oh yeah, fish. Uh-huh, so that's the King Oscar braid. We see how these fish look. We smell how these fish smell. They smell just like King Oscar bristlings. Tiny tots. These ones look a little plumper. Now I know that there's gonna be some differences just because it's a natural product and uh, and like, uh, you know, they're just gonna be how they're gonna be. I don't wanna put different light on them. Throw the horns. Uh, yeah, they look alike. It looks like there's about the same amount in either tin. I'm going to... Um, Try, try them. Okay, soft like King Oscars, soft like King Oscars. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Delicious little King Oscar fish. Goes right down. That olive oil is on point. Uh, same difference over here. Guys. And ladies. At all. I think, um, I think these are the same, same cans, guys. Olive oil. I want to say the olive oil in this King Oscar tastes slightly different than this one. Here now we're gonna really we're gonna really drink some olive oil because I want to get to the bottom of something. Okay. I don't know, man. Uh, Actually, on that sip, I felt like the Tiny Tot olive oil was a little bit more um, herbal, you know? Yeah. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Just, um, just pick out the wrapper that you like. I think just for um, the sake of organizing your cupboard, I'd buy the tiny tots over the regulars just so you can um, you can see them out from the red wrappers of the rest of the flavored King Oscar line. Maybe that's an idea. Now, uh, I guess tiny tots is supposed to appeal to kids, 
or maybe they're supposed to indicate that like hey these bristling um sprats they're, they're like the they're like the tiny tots of the uh you know ocean domain you know uh and you're eating them so what i would suggest and this is a free one king oscar this is free I would suggest marketing the sardines to children and in the packaging and in the, 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 the marketing, cast the child uh, consumer as a shark and portray the sardines inside of the can as shark food. And it's like, hey man, I'm swimming through the sea. I, you know, I can't stop swimming because I'm a shark. I must continue going forward. What do I see? Oh, it's a school of little fishies. Mmm. Oh, they won't stand a chance. I'm going to get them up. Yeah. Mmm. Those fish aren't going to make it to school. Because I'm a big megalodon. Isn't that what it is? Megalodon is the big shark. I don't know if that's a dinosaur or a shark or, uh, or what. Uh, okay, now I'm just lost in Dean land again. Let's, uh, you know what's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna, uh, gotta, yeah, okay, right hand, and spoon, Dean, party time. Now we're cooking with gas. I think we're gonna double up, man, because I don't want to take all y'all's day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I tell you what, once you've eaten a 44 or so King Oscars, it's just like breathing, you know? They just go down like air. This espinaller sauce, good. Giving them that kick, that extra flavor dimension they need to uh, make it to the end of the can here. They should try, when they're trying to attract the sharks, you know, so you, so you can go cage diving or whatever, they should put espinaller sauce in the chum, right? Because I bet the, the uh, sharks are kind of bored of just the regular old fish guts that uh, that they put down there. All right, so I solved it. The Great Tiny Tots Mystery. I can't believe it. If you have an opinion on whether they are the same or not or whatever, you know, tell me about it. I'm curious about this, okay? Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Tiny Tots, Tiny Tots, does whatever a Tiny Tot does. Sits oh my god, what an idiot. Uh, guys, just reminding you about the live stream on Saturday, 2 p.m. Eastern. Thanks, bye. They're just regular bristling sardines. Ta-da! Flip.